Yeah, we're on the road again. I didn't take, I didn't do too many vlogs while at the house this past week. I spent time with my family. There's no room for silliness when you're with my family. I'm only kidding. Anyhow, we're leaving, so I want you to see the scenery as we are driving out. If you're interested in such beauty, as far as the cell phone can give it to you, obviously. You talking about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about myself. We're talking about beauty, not freaks of nature. <laughs> This is the river. This is where they had the 1996 Olympics through this area here. Wow, the flags were there. Um, yeah, and um, this is what this area is known for: the 1996 Summer Olympics. And um, I remember as a kid, though, the, the riverbed looked considerably different. It had a lot of rocks in it, and, and the way the rock formations were, and you actually had swimming pools, if you would. And um, when they came through and pulled it all up for the Olympics. Um, they, you know, obviously they, they didn't put it back quite the way that it was originally. But it was real neat as, as a kid to come along and parents would take you just women. The water was real clear. And um, there were some little pool areas that were, you know, 14, 15 feet deep. And others that were just, you know, very shallow, about three feet deep. And you'd go swim in it and have a lot of fun. Uh, but anyway, so that, and that's kind of what's given this area kind of a, a re- a, a resurge in popularity ever since the 1996 Olympics. The Ocoee River um, has become more popular now for whitewater rafting, and uh, a lot of this, the, the small towns around this area are essentially trying to capitalize on it. There's not much industry up in this area to really keep things going, and uh, I mean they, they'll survive, but um, but the, this you know the tourist industry I'm, I'm hoping will kind of give a little uh, revitalization to the economy up here. And I think it has to some degree. I mean, you can we were downtown Copper Hill and and the and the McKaysville, and you can definitely see them trying to play on the tourists and, and rightly so, rightly so. There's a, a let's see, there's an electric electric plant back this way generating electricity. I don't know how much and like that. Anyway, just keep following along, and um, I'll keep babbling along, just like this river we are driving next to. We just went over Gasaway Creek, Rhonda. Did you know that? That was called Gasaway Creek. <laughs> but, but you know, you, 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 know, but you, can, you can think about those poem, Gasaway, Gasaway, Gasaway now. Only if she was swimming in it. Don't go too fast off these winding roads. And there's a dam over in this area. I doubt very seriously you'll be able to see it, but I'll hold the phone out to that area. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> We're on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> My beautiful wife had a thought. <laughs> I could show the whole world what you're doing at this moment. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, and this is, I don't know if you can see, but this is kind of some of the, like what it used to be, the little rocky areas down through there. And, there, you know, there are some areas that you can go swimming. I think the water should be clean enough. Uh, years ago, it w would not have been, probably many years ago, when the copper mine was in full force. It, but essentially, they had what we would call it an ecological disaster. Um, but through the years, they have um, started you know, cleaning it up and reclaiming the environment. And it looks beautiful. Copper Hill area. 
reminds me of a ride when I was um, growing up. We did Six Flags over in Georgia, and, and there was one particular. Um, I say it wasn't really a ride. Is a movie you watch. The way they, and the way they, they shot the movie, uh, the camera I guess was mounted on the front end of the car or something to that effect. But anyway, you, you would, you know, a little bit you'd be driving in a car going down a curvy road, and, and it just about make you sick, you know, sitting there watching it on full screen, and then switch, and you'd be on a roller coaster going up and down, and like you were on the front seat, you know, front part of the roller coaster, and. Um, so we're trying to duplicate the same effect using the cheap old cell phone video. Of course, the last scene of it I remember right before it ended, um, or, or near the end of it, if memory serves correctly, you, know, you were you were falling real close behind the car, and um, the car stopped, and the video kept going, and uh, you know, so everybody hollered because they thought they were about to hit the car. Off over there. Look out over here to the side, though. This is a very beautiful area. Kind of reminiscent of what I was telling you about earlier. Yeah. I don't know now if they allow much swimming down in this area. Now the Ecole has got as popular as it has. It looks like the current can be fairly swift through some areas, but not too bad, though. Not too terribly bad. Let's see. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a moment because I've noticed this is now seven minutes and twelve seconds wasted of your life. Thank you for watching and tune in to another outstanding 2008 new ball family video, vlog, vacation. Oh look, it's a smart curve, it's a sharp curve. Yeah, I think it was That was it.